Welcome to the new Pulse cardiovascular equipment. When you approach your piece of equipment you're going to use, turn off the screensaver via touch or a swipe. Now a general overview of these programs, quick start by pressing that, it will start you into a 30 minute workout where you can manually adjust your pace and your resistance. If you have a set time, distance or calorie goals, you'll hit the goals program. We have a pacer program, so if you have a particular duration that you need to achieve a distance for, you can set that speed and duration here with these following options at the bottom. Profiles. So we have some preset ones, which are random intervals, hill climbs, so that's the resistance. You've also got custom. Now by dragging your finger across the screen, you are setting the resistance. So totally in control of your workout. There is a heart rate control program. If you've got a compatible heart rate belt, by inputting your user details, you can do a heart rate ranged workout based on your heart rate zones. <coughs> you can perform a fitness test by going through, selecting your profiles. It will then start you into a 20 minute fitness test to give you a VO2 max estimate. Finally, Escape and Escape to the beach, lake, in the road or in the valley. So you get a little bit of a virtual road with lots of scenery that you can work out to. So just to get the machine going, we recommend pressing quick start. You can get rid of that by swiping up. Along the bottom, this is where you find your workout statistics. It will ask you for your weight, but you don't have to put that in. You can get rid of that by swiping the message away. Every machine gives you the same information. So a level or resistance, the energy that you are using in an electric MET measurement, but also something you might be more familiar with, the wattage you're producing. The time is a counting down, always counts downwards. Beats per minute, that's for your heart rate. So there are usually hand, rate, hand sensors somewhere on the equipment around on the handrails, depending on whether you're on the runner or on the bike. We don't recommend holding on when you're on the treadmill though. Now distance, calories and speed. Now. Regarding distance and calories and speed, you can change whether you have kilometres or you have miles, and that's in the top right-hand corner. Metric units or imperial units. Now, we also have a very nice fancy entertainment system here for you. Top left-hand corner, pressing TV, gives you access to all the free view channels of which there are many. The first press gives you a large screen but with your statistics still around the sides. A double press will give you a full screen view. Another double press takes you back to your workout statistics. On the right hand side, you can also press workout to take you back to your statistics screen. We've also got some apps for you. So, pressing the top left hand corner, along the bottom here, BBC, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Internet. If you do log in, to Facebook, Twitter, or any of your accounts, it will log you out 
when you finish your workout. When you are in your workout, controlling your resistance or your speed, you can touch the yellow button here to increase the levels. You can also get a slider. So by holding the button on the yellow bar, you can then speed up, slow down, or increase resistance, depending on whether you're on the runner or whether you're on the bike, with this slider there. There's a little button on the bottom left-hand corner. That is a back button. That will always take you back to main screen. Or... also press none which is at the very top left hand corner if you want to increase your time by double pressing the time button you can see how long you've got until your workout ends and you can use the green buttons to increase or decrease or when you are finished press the pause and press finish. The QR code which is displayed if you have the Pulse app and you're keeping a track of your workouts, by scanning that QR code it will automatically upload your workout into your profile on your app. Then press next user and you're finished.